this is Stampy, and welcome to a very special Minecraft Let's Play video. This is the big show! This is the day of the circus, and I have been spending uh, almost the entire week uh, getting ready to put a big show on at the circus, and this is the day! This is the day where everything's ready, everything is in place, and I'm going to go over to the circus now and put on a big show uh, for all of my friends and my dogs as well, uh, as Henry and Hilda, who you may see uh, are no longer in here. Uh, that's because they have gone and head over there ready, and they've got some front row seats to go, and I watch all of the festivities but before we do that I'm of course going to go and do my beginning video ritual and add someone to my love garden and today I'm adding someone called Mrs Xbox and that's because of a comment that she left on one of my videos that said Stampy what an awesome cat making creepers in a hat Baking cakes with all your friends. Bricks and blocks, it never ends. And <laughs> that comment just really made me laugh. It was a really uh, fun, happy, nice little rhyme. And for that reason, I wanted to say thank you very much and welcome to my love garden. But as you can see, uh, I'm rushing and I'm very excited. That's because, um, yeah, I don't want to do all this stuff. I can't be bored with my bedroom. I don't even bother having a cake this morning. Uh, Lee's already at the circus. All I want to do uh, is rush over there as fast as I can, uh, just so I can go and uh, bring the uh, the show to you all. Uh, no dogs either. Uh, all of my dogs are over there. They're going to be uh, the uh, the main audience for the show and uh, we're going to have a uh, ballistic squid uh, amy lee alpha lee and uh, rosie uh, are going to be all performing for you today as well as a, a little performance myself that i'm going to do for you all so hopefully uh, you're all very excited about it uh, as you can hear i am certainly uh, extraordinarily excited about it and it's so nice just to get uh, the circus completely finished uh, we added a few more things inside uh, we got most of it done uh, in the uh, the last few videos but we added uh, one or two more surprises that you're going to see uh, a little bit later on so uh, yeah all i need to do uh, is get over there as fast as i can and uh, we can go and bring the show so as i said there's a few surprises coming up now, i don't want to reveal everything that's coming up but uh, we're going to see lee as the clown uh, amy's going to be a little bit of a daredevil uh, rosie uh, is going to be involved in a uh, special magic show uh, which gonna, uh, is going to be coming up uh, a little bit later on so um yeah i'm certainly looking forward to uh, everything that we have got coming up and here we go we can just about see the circus in the distance i think i might uh if i go around from uh, if i go around from this side uh, i want you to be able to see it all from the front rather than seeing it too close here we go here we can see on the horizon my massive circus i'm so happy with it i'm so happy uh, with how it turned out and the fact that uh, i pretty much placed every single block uh, inside of the video so you saw me uh, building the uh, the entire thing uh, from start to finish and here we go here's the the first reveal of what it looks like on the inside look at this place it looks so much nicer now it's all lit up and i got my cannon all finished and uh, this over here is my magic box and i got all my dogs here hello ladies and gentlemen hello snow golems hello dogs hello hilda over there the snow golem and uh, the iron golem sorry and welcome uh, to the first ever circus here inside of stampy's lovely world and please may i welcome the first performer, uh, you know him, you love him, uh, he is of course Mr. Lima Toad the Clown. Come out, let's have a big round of applause for Mr. Lima Toad the Clown. It's this way, Lee. Oh, he's lost already. Look at him clowning around. <laughs> Lee is going to be here uh, throughout the duration of the show, generally playing around. And look at him juggling there, throwing all of the different coloured balls in there. Oh, he dropped one. Oh, he threw an ender pearl. <laughs> oh, what a silly guy. Oh, he's throwing eggs. Oh, look, there's a chicken. There's a little baby chicken just went down from the top. <laughs> I love Lima Toad the Clown. Oh no, he's throwing another one up. He's breaking eggs all over the place. There's a baby chicken. Try and, try and throw some, some torches and some swords. Let's make this uh, a bit more dangerous. I'm going to stand uh, a little bit further back. Uh, just because, yeah, he's throwing swords and torches. He is very good at that. I never knew how amazing he was at juggling. Very good, Lima Toad. Big round of applause. Give it up for Lima Toad the Clown. <laughs> and uh, coming up next for you, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have someone else who is very much beloved inside of Stampy's lovely world. That, of course, is, of course, the radiant, the beautiful. It is Amy Lee the Mermaid. Come on out, Amy Lee. Watch out for the chicken that just fell on your head. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to the performance area, Amy Lee. And Amy Lee is going to be doing a very dangerous feat for you all today. She is going to be climbing up the ladders and going up to the high wire. And she's going to do the tightrope walk. And it is very dangerous. You saw me trying to do it uh, in the last episode. And I was very slow and scared. But she is an absolute pro, ladies and gentlemen. She does a tightrope every morning before she has breakfast. And here she goes. She's being very steady. Taking little steps. Oh, look, even throwing down roses as she goes. Why don't you try juggling the roses as you go, Amy? Or is that pushing it? I don't want to. I don't want to make you panic. Oh, look at Rose is falling all over the place. Lee is still juggling. She is doing that very well. Oh, watch out! Watch out for the the falling bear, Amy, as you go across. <laughs> these sort of uh, these sort of things don't come up in 
training. You don't normally uh, have to dodge flying bears when you're going across the, the high wire. And she's almost there. Only a few more blocks until she's at the end. And she has made it. A big round of applause, everyone, for Amy Lee. And don't throw any eggs at her. <laughs> oh, well done. Are you going to go again now, Amy? You're going to go and uh, do some more acrobatics as you go across. Here we go. Not only is she incredible at balance, she's also an amazing gymnast. Look at that. Jumping without fear from one side to the other. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's dim the lights. Well, let me dim the lights. There we go. I've slightly dimmed the lights. There we go. And now she is going to go and try and walk across. Not looking forward, but ladies and gentlemen, looking backwards. And she is also going to do it with her eyes closed and with her head tilted down. Look at that. She can't even see where she is going, but she is so brave. Uh, she is going from one side all of the way to the other. That is absolutely amazing. The balance and skill uh, that is required to pull that off is absolutely incredible. And carefully, you nearly landed on my head there. <laughs> oh, I love Clown Lima Toe. But let's not lose focus on Amy. She's almost at the other side and she has done a big round of applause. That was absolutely amazing, Amy Lee. Uh, but from one dangerous feat to the other, uh, Amy Lee, if you want to follow me, uh, we got something else in stall for you here. Uh, if you come over here, you'll see there's a very lovely, tasty, crunchy apple uh, up here in the item frame. Uh, if you just stand there, I'm going to go and introduce our next performer. Uh, someone else who is much beloved inside of Stampy's lovely world. The one, the only, the sensational, the slippy. Please welcome everybody, I, Ballistic Squid! <laughs> Come on, Squid, don't be afraid. Coming out backwards, always a performer. Absolutely amazing. And Squid is going to do something that requires a lot of skill. You need a very steady hand and a good eye. He is going to attempt to shoot the apple from the top of Amy's head. So, Amy, you just need to stand there and be very brave. Don't worry, Squid has done this before. Once again, he is an absolute pro. And not from there, Squid. You've got to go from further back. Everyone keep shouting if you want him to go from further back. Back, 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 back. All right, you've got to do it all the way from over there. There we go. He's going to shoot across the entire circus and try and shoot the apple from the top of Amy's head. Right, good luck, Squid. Take the shot when you're ready. Oh, he missed. He missed the first shot. Maybe a little bit of nerves. Maybe because it's the first show, he got a little bit nervous. Take the second shot, Squid. Come on. And Amy is then going to try and catch the apple. Oh, she looks a little bit scared. She's shaking her head, but he did it. He shot the apple and Amy caught it. <laughs> well done, Squib. That was absolutely amazing. But you know what? I think that he can do even better. That was a little practice shot. That was a little bit of a warm up. But if we replace the apple and put it back, Squid is now going to climb up to the top of the high wire and he is going to jump from the high wire, land on the ground while doing a 360 in the air and firing the arrow to shoot the apple off the uh, top of the target. Amy is then going to catch and eat the apple and then we all going to go and do a massive big round of applause. Okay, so let's go and have a drum roll please. Ballistic Squid, when you're ready, take the shot. Incredible Ballistic Squid. And Ballistic Squid is going ballistic celebrating. And why not? That was fantastic. Everybody, can we please have a massive round of applause for Amy Lee and I, Ballistic Squid. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Well done. You did absolutely marvellous. But now... We have another performance coming up, and this time it is going to be me that is going to be doing the performance. We have a magic show for you, ladies and gentlemen. So let me go and uh, get up my magic wand here, you can see. And I'm going to have to welcome my next guest, who is the friendliest, cutest, and most importantly, most magical penguin that lives inside of Stampy's lovely world. So dogs, Henry, Hilda, everyone at home, please welcome Rosie833, everyone's favourite penguin. How are you doing today? Of course, here, uh, carrying her fish, as she always does, in case uh, she gets a little bit peckish in the middle of the show and uh, Rosie has no idea what is about to happen to her but Rosie I am gonna go and try and make you disappear right here in the middle of the performance area there's nowhere for you to go but I am gonna teleport you to a far off land oh yes I will Rosie yes I will you might not believe me you might be shaking your head but I promise you I am that good it is gonna happen as if you follow me over here I have a magic booth and there are two iron doors and as you can see, you can walk from one side all the way to the other. There's no trickery here. On the floor, we have obsidian. You cannot break that obsidian. That is solid. Once you're inside of this cage, there is no way to escape. But I, Mr. Stampy Cat, I'm gonna try and make you disappear. So if you want to go inside of the magical booth, 
I am going to go and shut the first hatch so you can't get out of this side. I am going to go around to the other side and I am going to shut this hatch as well. Rosie is now completely locked inside of the booth. There is no way she is going to be able to escape. But I am going to go and make her disappear. So on the count of three, she will go. Three, two, one. Rosie, disappear! Pow! Rosie has now completely disappeared and she is no longer inside of the magic booth. A big round of applause, everybody! Yay! But the tricky part is making her reappear. I am now going to go and make Rosie reappear in the magic booth in three, two, one, kapow! And Rosie is now back inside of the booth! Isn't that amazing, ladies and gentlemen? I've now made the penguin reappear. Isn't that fantastic? What? What's that? Why are you all barking? What's wrong, everyone? You don't think I teleported her? You don't think I made her disappear? Okay, I'll do it again then. Rosie, if you want to stay in the booth, I'm going to shut this hatch. I'm going to shut this hatch. I'm once again going to count down. Three, two, one. Huzzah! Rosie has now disappeared from the booth. And I'm going to make her reappear. What? Well, what's wrong, everyone? You don't think she's disappeared? Well, why don't you go and have a look at this? Look, there's no Rosie in here. All that was left was the fish on the floor. Rosie has completely disappeared. There's nowhere for her to go. Where is she? Where do you think she is, ladies and gentlemen? <gasps> there she is. Look, she's at the top of the high wire. How did she get all the way over there? Penguins can't even fly. That was absolutely amazing. Ta-da! Okay, Rosie, if you want to uh, very carefully make your, your way down the ladder now. I don't know if your balance is quite as good as uh, Amy's. I know it's very difficult to, to use the ladders with your little flippers there, but there we go. Can we please have a massive round of applause for Rosie833, the most amazing penguin that lives inside of Stampy's lovely world. <laughs> but now, ladies and gentlemen, things are going to get really dangerous because I am about to fire Lemotoad out of the cannon. Are you ready for this Lemotoad? Are you ready, clown, to get fired out of the cannon? He is ready. He is psyched up for this. Okay, Lemotoad, if you want to go and take your position on the top of the cannon. I'm going to have to ask for absolute silence inside of the circus. He needs full concentration. I am going to attempt to fire Lemotoad from the massive cannon and he is going to land over here, avoiding the chicken and hopefully land inside of this very small pit of water over here. Just to make sure it's very safely, do you want to go and make sure that you uh, have all of the, uh, the safety precautions? There we go. He's now wearing a leather cap, so nothing will go wrong. If you want to do one last final wave to the audience, then you can hop back inside of the cannon, right? Say goodbye to them all, everyone. Say goodbye to them all. <laughs> okay, now take your position uh, inside of the cannon, and I'm going to go and try and fire you. Okay, everybody is ready. Everyone is in their positions. I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to go and press the button, and hopefully fire Lee across the circus and into the pot of water. I have pressed the button, I have primed the TNT, and we will now go and fire! Look at him go! He went flying! Oh, he didn't land in the water! He landed out there! He broke a hole through the circus! Oh, I think I I think I might have put a little bit too much TNT. Oh no, Lee, hopefully he's okay. Where has he ended up? Oh, look, there he is! He's outside, Lee, are you okay? Oh, you look a, you look a little bit dizzy after that. It's okay, Lee. Come on, follow me, follow my voice. <laughs> well, that worked um, a little bit too well. We didn't quite land in the water. It's okay, Lee. If you follow me, we just go and plonk you in the water. That'd be almost as good. <laughs> Maybe wash yourself off. Maybe it'll wake you up if you splash some cold water on your face, Lee. Come on. This way, buddy. <laughs> well, that went... I don't know. It almost went well, but yeah, probably a little bit too well. Look at that shot straight out of the outside of the circus. That was amazing. You did fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for Lima Toad the Clown. Woo, 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 woo. Yeah, you can have a fish to celebrate. <laughs> and we are now on to the final performance of the evening. I myself am going to perform the most dangerous feat that any of you uh, have seen so far today in the circus. I'm going to tame the wild beast. You may have seen him here sitting in the corner. This is a wild, ferocious, and untamed pig uh, that we caught just before this. He was so ferocious uh, that sometimes he ate wheat without even chewing it. He is a monster. And I am going to go and try and tame him with nothing other than a fishing rod, which I'm going to use as a whip. I must ask everyone to stay back for this. This is going to be very dangerous. Lear, you stay in the stands over there. I don't want you to get hurt for this. I'm going to go and pull the pig release switch. Okay, everybody, step back, step back. He's got his sights on me. I'm going to look him in the eyes. If I stare him down, I will show him who's boss. 
and he will be tame to me. You can see that he can't take his eyes away from me. You know, look at me, pig. Look at me, pig. Right, I'm going to try and coax him out of the cage by using his favorite food. Wait, oh, he's going for me. He's going for me. Get back, pig. Get back. Get back. Oh, he's angry. You can see this one. He's angry. He's untamed. He doesn't know what to do. No, Lee. Lee, Lee's got on the pig. You leave him alone. The pig's gone after him. Oh, my God, it's a pig bear. You leave him alone, pig. Oh, he's running around like crazy. This has turned into a big rodeo. Get back, pig. Get back. Are you okay, Lee? Quick, jump off the pig, Lee. Get, jump, jump off the pig. I'm going to have to try and get him back in the cage if I can. He's got too angry. Quick, get ready to pull the switch, Lee. Get ready to pull the switch. This has all gone wrong. Quick, oh, I can't get him in. Oh, he's gone after you. He's gone after you. I'm going to have to get him around to this side. Come on, pig. Come on, pig. Oh, look at those e evil eyes. Look at those evil and evil undead eyes he's looking at me with. It's not working. He's gone wild. He's gone wild everybody. <laughs> oh, do you know what? I think I might leave him to wander around. He actually seems quite happy. He actually seems quite peaceful. Ah, oh, I like my new pig friend. Oh no, there's a creeper. There's actually a wild beastly. There's a creeper. Right, I'm going to try and tame the creeper. I'm going to tame him. Oh no, it didn't go very well. I didn't tame the creeper. <laughs> oh dear, what an explosive ending to the show. And that is the end of the show here. Hopefully you enjoyed the circus everybody but before we go uh, we're gonna have one last bow from everyone as they can come out and uh, say thank you uh, for you deciding to join us today so ballistic squid amy lee and rosie uh, if you'd like to come out from the back and all stand in a row and uh, you can go and give all of the uh, the dogs a big bow uh, ignore the large pit uh, that may have just appeared here. <laughs> we can pretend that's not there for now. And my dogs are going absolutely crazy. You can sit down there, Duncan. And uh, on the count of three, uh, you can all go and take a big bow. Come, you've got to join us, Lima Toad. Uh, you can join in for this. So I want to say a big thank you to Rosie, Squid, Amy and Lee uh, for helping me out in this video. And you may all now take a bow. Woo! 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 Big round of applause, everyone. Big round of applause. <laughs> that's the end of this video here. Uh, hopefully you all enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed making it. Uh, there's going to be another video uh, in my lovely world up tomorrow uh, so make sure you come and check back then to go and see that but that's the end of this video once again thank you very much for watching and i will see you later